If you're in Tehran or anywhere else and have an interest in exploring famous houses, museums, and notable individuals, come along with me. Welcome to the captivating world of Simin and Jalal's house. Get ready to embark on a journey through history and their love story. Immerse yourself in the enchanting tale of this remarkable house located in Shemirana, Tehran. Together, let's delve into its intriguing story and savor every moment. So without further delay, let our adventure begin. The Simin and Jalal Museum House in Tehran holds a distinct essence. It is a house built with love, embodying a man's deep affection for his wife. In an era where such houses are increasingly rare, with permanent residents and close-knit neighbors becoming scarce. Traces of these unique abodes can still be found in certain streets of the city. Nestled on a serene street named Ars, the couple rented the land, originally a wakf, during one of their outings in Shemiran. After a few years, Jalal finally initiated the construction and began building their life there, starting with a small shed. The story of the Simon and Jalal Museum House unfolds when Simon traveled to Stanford for a training course a mere two years into their marriage. Despite facing challenges such as financial difficulties and the need to send money to Simon in America, Jalal persevered. He meticulously sketched over 200 designs for the house. Love triumphed and the house was eventually completed. The house boasts a picturesque natural setting reflecting the couple's profound love for nature. They were willing to endure hardships and distance themselves from urban conveniences to settle in a village. The green space surrounding their house held great significance, especially for Simon, who hailed from Shiraz and deeply appreciated the beauty of its natural landscapes. Prior to commencing construction, Jalal took care to plant seedlings and tend to the garden. Simin Daneshwar, born in Shiraz in May 1921, was one of the pioneering Iranian women writers known for her simple writing style. Her father, Mohammad Ali Daneshwar, was a doctor, while her mother, Kamar al Sultaneh, was a painter. Despite perceived class differences between Jalal and Simin's families, Simin's mother's side included a renowned cleric establishing a connection between the two families.
Simin and Jalal's house became a vibrant hub where Iranian enlightenment and intellectual literature flourished. It served as a space where unique and groundbreaking literary stories and texts emerged. The construction of the Simin and Jalal Museum House was completed in 1953. The couple settled there and their interactions with Nima Yushij, a prominent poet, allowed them to deepen their understanding of each other. Jalal also worked as a teacher in Shemiran schools to support their livelihood. While Simon and Jalal achieved great fame, tragedy struck when Jalal passed away. The cause of his death became a subject of debate, with some speculating foul play and others attributing it to his excessive alcohol consumption to which he was addicted. In the house, Simin completed a book called Sushon, a year after Jalal's passing. This book is considered her literary masterpiece, reflecting Jalal's anti-colonial ideas and highlighting the shared thoughts and beliefs of the couple. As visitors enter the Simin and Jalal Museum house, they are greeted by a wax statue of Simin Danishvar, seated on a wooden chair in front of a pond. Jalal al-Ahmad initiated the construction of the house with a budget of 5,000 tomans, borrowing 3,000 tomans. Jalal himself actively participated in the construction, often describing the pain in his hands and the injuries sustained while carving stones. The house was built with love, and its authenticity and sincerity can still be felt within its walls. Adjacent to the museum, is the Iranian Art Museum's garden, which is also worth a visit. The museum houses a collection of works written and translated by Simon and Jalal, including Suvshun by Simon Danishvar, Madahe Zamani, translated by Jalal Danishvar, Island of Wandering by Simon Danishvar, Garb Zadegi by Jalal Danishvar, Sarban Sarbandar by Simin Danishvar, and many other works by this artistic couple. The house served as a gathering place for renowned politicians, poets, and writers of the time, such as Golam Hossein Sayedi, Ahmad Shamlu, and Imam Musa Sadr. Their meetings influenced contemporary intellectual trends and had a profound impact on the intellectual transformation of Simin and Jalal. After Jalal's untimely death in 1969, Simin continued to reside in the house until her own passing. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Your support means the world to us. The neighboring house of Simon and Jalal's home is the house of Nima Yushij, in the next video, we'll be heading to Nima's house.